What's up, Pokey Sluts? My name is Another Sylvia, and today I have a couple more OU battles for you guys. Within, it is in the OU Suspect Test Ladder as well, once again. And we are still Suspect Testing Age Slash right now. My opinion has evolved a little bit. I feel like Age Slash um, is a little bit too strong for OU. But I feel like I feel like he belongs, and that's my personal opinion. So please leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoy this, and comment down below. Let me know what your opinions are on Aegislash. I am going to be leading with my Landorus because I expect the Heatran or the Ferrothorn to come in, possibly his Landorus. So my Landorus can definitely take care of all of those. Um, I am expecting maybe a switch here into his uh lando so or his heatran so that's why i was going for the rock slide there but i'm just gonna hit him up with an earth power now unfortunately he got seeds off um it's not a huge deal and he is gonna get rocks up again um that kind of sucks my team is really weak to hazards here and well not really weak but it's pretty it's pretty decently weak, especially the Charizard, and I have no um, defoggers or spinners, which is probably a big mistake, but this team is a pretty offensive team, so I don't need to get hazards out of the way too bad. I'm just going to hit him up with a rock slide again, expecting him to switch out, but I fucked up there again, but an earth power will take him down this time should he decide to stay in. Um, he has two levitators, so... That's why I was going for the rock slide there rather than the earth power. But I kind of... I, I messed up there in the beginning. My Landorus definitely shouldn't have taken as much damage as it did. But yeah, that's um just a rule. You guys should probably take uh, my advice here. Don't over predict at the beginning because you could end up losing pretty hard. But my Lando isn't too important for taking this team down but he should be able to destroy this lando t with an hp ice provided it's not scarfed or something um and if my lando does go down here to this lando t it's not a big deal i'm just glad i got ferrothorn out of the way um my team actually can take care of ferrothorn pretty well but i'd rather have him out of the way at the start he actually is going to be faster but for some reason, he ends up going for Rock Slide. I don't know, maybe... I figured he'd be physical. So it's kind of weird that he did go for the Rock Slide there. Um, and he's going <laughs> to he's gonna pay for it by going down to HP Ice there. Um, it's not really worth switching Lando out at this point. So I just want to hit him up with a Rock Slide. Gengar obviously is going to be faster. And he's going to take me down with a... Uh, energy ball there. My Tornadus should be pretty safe to come in here though, and I can hit him with a hard knockoff, but I'm guessing he's going to switch out anyway. Um, this is Assault Vest Tornadus also, by the way, so it can hit him pretty decently. It should Oko Gengar should he stay in, but I really doubt he's going to do that. And he ends up bringing out Heatran, so that's fine. I'm glad I got a knockoff on this thing. He was running the Assault Vest Heatran as well. So, that's pretty good. I'm glad I got that off of him. Um, if it was Leftovers, it might not have been worth it as much. But, I'm going to bring in the Garchomp here. And try and get my own rocks up. Because that's going to be um, pretty useful. Well... It'll be good for the Lopany, I think, but he's just going to HP Ice, I believe. I can't really tell what that was, but I'm assuming that was HP Ice. He hit for super effective, so... I'm just going to call that HP Ice, because I don't know for sure. And now I can just hit him up with a Hydro Pump, or possibly just try and go for a Volt Switch. Um, a Shadow Ball might be useful here on the Switch, though. Um, and hopefully he doesn't bring out Lopany. And he actually ends up going into his Rotom, so that's nice. Uh, unfortunately we didn't get the special defense drop there, but it's not a big deal. 
I my Aegislash slash comes in on this thing pretty well, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And he's probably gonna end up toxicing or something, so it'll probably be worth it. He actually goes for a volt switch. That did a pretty decent amount. So I wanna say it's choice specs, but I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure. But provided that he did go for a volt switch and it did that much, I'd say it's probably likely. Um, he's going to end up bringing in Heatran. So I'm not sure why. He did have an HP, a hidden power, but I don't know what it was. But I should be fine. I'm, I'll probably go down to an EQ here. But I'd like to try and get an SD up here and Sacred Sword him. But I am just going to go to go down to a Lava Plume there. He actually ends up being faster. So um, that does suck quite a bit because I could have really dealt with him better. But I'm just going to go off and fire a trick. And he ends up doubling in, or not doubling, he ends up switching into Rotom. And it was actually Lefty's Rotom. So I will gladly trade for Lefty's for specs um i know he's probably just gonna volt switch here again anyway and my rotom can definitely take a volt switch but yeah in that part sorry for the video cutting out there back with my age slash death my computer really sucks so all the support you guys give me will help me further to building a new pc which i intend on doing if you didn't see my 420 vlog um, yeah, I'm planning on building a new PC as soon as possible and playing tons of other games besides just Pokemon. And I will actually be playing Pokemon as well, still, if that is what you guys want to see. But he is just going to go out into his Gengar here, so I'm glad I got a Volt Switch off because now I can go into my Tornadus here for free. And set up another knockoff. If he goes into Heatran again, that's fine by me. But I'd really like to get a knockoff on this thing. So I'm going to try. It'll definitely kill it from here. I think it would Oko it anyway. Even with no physical attack investment. I don't believe I have any on this Tornadus. But yeah... As I've said in my last video, I really like this Tornadus. It's I really like this set for Tornadus. It's a very useful set. Um, I probably will take out Focus Blast because it's I have Hurricane there and I don't really want two 70% accurate moves. Because that sucks. But I think I'm just going to stay in and go... F no, I'm going to switch out into Rotom here and try and get a nice Scald off. He's probably going to Lava Plume or something. He actually ends up Hidden Powering, so... Uh, that has to be HP Ice, because he got a not very effective. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm just going to Hydro Pump here, and this should be a dead Heat Train. Actually, he lives, um, and my Rotom is going to go down to the uh, Lava Plume there, so... It's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Um... My Tornadus can come in, and I can try and hit a Focus Blast here. But I'm just going to go into my Zard X here. And probably just Outrage. Or I... No, I'm going to Power Up Punch, I think. I think that's smarter. Because if he stays in, it's going to... It's going to knock him out. And I'm going to get plus one. So that will definitely help me a lot. So my Charizard X pretty much wins from here. Um, my Tornadus is pretty useful too. Um, it can definitely take a Volt Switch or a T-Bolt from a Rotom. It can take probably three. And Lopini is just going to fake out here. Which is fine. I should be able to live whatever he has for me. He actually has Thunder Punch, so he didn't really have anything for me. That's awesome. I'm going to be winning this one, as you guys can see. Rotom is definitely going to go down to a 1.5 Outrage, so 
I'm going to take you guys on over to the next match now. I hope you enjoyed this one, and please leave a thumbs up if you did. So, I'm taking you on over to the next battle now. What's up, Pokey Sluts? Welcome to the second OU battle in this Age Slash Suspect test on my video, anyways. And as you can see, my opponent does have some underused characters, underused Pokemon, rather. But his team still looks fairly strong. I feel like the Age Slash lead would work pretty decently, but I'd rather keep him in the back because. He is going to be pretty useful against this team. I'm just going to lead with my Landorus here. And he ends up going into Zard. So I'd say that paid off pretty decently. Um, I don't know if I want to Earth Power or hit him up with a Rock Slide here. But I'm just going to go for the Rock Slide in case he's stupid and wants to try and stay in on my Lando. But I really doubt that. <laughs> And he's going to bring in the Vaporeon, and it does a whopping 37. Um, this is Life Orb Landorus. I don't know why he didn't lose any health there. That was kind of weird. So my Rotom switches into this very well, so I'm going to do that. This is the Choice Specs Trick Rotom. So it's a pretty fun little thing, and if you don't trade in, if you don't trade his Specs, you, it's fine. He does a lot of damage if you don't trade the specs, so it's cool. But this is specially defensive Rotom. I don't really have much investment in special attack, if any at all. And I'm just going to go for a trick here, give him choice specs, because this Vaporeon will probably be pretty annoying otherwise. So I'm glad I got the trick off there. I got leftovers in return for the choice specs. So I'd say that's a pretty good trade, but... I'm just gonna... I don't know what I want to do. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. But he's probably gonna go out into his Crocodile. Excuse me, I have to blow my nose really quick. I'm gonna move the mic away. Anyways. He ends up going into Sceptile, so... Uh, the... The Shadow Ball doesn't hit him too well, but nothing else I have on this Rotom would hit him that well. Um, and I definitely do not want to stay in on this thing. I'd like to bring in my Tornadus, maybe. Um, possibly my Garchomp, but I think that is a bad play. This is most... This is actually... I don't know, this is weird. I'm guessing his Zard is Mega, but... This actually, his Sceptile is going to be Mega, so I'm glad I went into the Tornadus rather than the Chomp. Um, I should be able to hit him with a U-turn here pretty decently, but I'm just going to go for a knockoff, expecting him to switch out, <laughs> and he actually hidden powers me, and it hits me for neutral, so it does nothing, so I'm not really sure what it is. Um, hmm. That's weird. I can't think of what hidden power it would be. I'm just going to go for a hurricane because it has that confusion percentage. Um, and it's really... It's actually... Hurricane is kind of a really bad move, but my Tornadus is pretty bulky, so I can afford to fire a couple off. And as you can see, it missed there. Of course it did. Nah, fam. Um... So I think I just want to bring in my Aegislash on this. Because he's not going to hit it for... He won't be able to hit it for jack shit. And this Tornadus has Regenerator. So I'm definitely just going to go right out into my Aegislash. And he actually ends up doubling into Crocodile. So that could be a bit of an issue. But I'm... This has to be a Stealth Rocker. So I think I can get an SD off on him, but I just want to play it safe because my Aegislash is going to hurt this team very much so. 
So I'm just going to bring in my Garchomp on this thing and set up my own Stealth Rocks in response to his. Um, hazards are decent on this team, especially for the Charizard. So, and yeah, as I was saying before, I really should put Defog on Tornadus or something like that, or maybe just bring in a new Rapid Spinner altogether and replace it with one of them. I don't know, but I do like my team a lot, re um, regardless of its weakness to rocks or anything. I'm just going to Swords Dance on this thing, because what's this thing going to do to me? Um, I don't know, actually. It could, actually, I don't know, it may go down here, but it's fine. If I'd like to get Rocky Helmet Rough Skin damage off, but he ends up going for the Psychic there. I'm just going to hit him up with a Dragon Claw, because I don't think he's going to want to stay in. <laughs> actually, he, he does. And he goes for a Thunder Punch. I don't know why. Maybe expecting me to switch out, but I'm definitely not going to oblige you with that, sir. I'm going to Sword Stance up in your face again for making that mistake, foo. And hopefully he doesn't bring out his Sceptile here. If he does, then... Oh, well. And he actually ends up staying in and going for a Shadow Ball, so I'm fine with that. I can get a nice EQ off on him. And hopefully he doesn't bring out the Zard, but that wouldn't make any sense. So, he's actually going to bring out Ampharos, so this is going to be KO, bitch. Oko, that motherfucker. That Ampharos goes down in one. So that turns out very nicely for us. Uh, I'm guessing he's going to want to bring out his Sceptile now, though. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. He actually goes into Charizard. Um... His Sceptile is Mega, so I should be able to stay in on this thing and Dragon Claw it, and it should go down. Um, but I don't really need to keep my Garchomp in. I'd like to keep him around, so I don't know. It's tough. I'm just going to go into my Rotom, though. Because this thing isn't going to do anything to me when it's not Mega. When it's not Zardex, it's not going to do anything to erode and wash, I don't think. Um, and then I should be able to get a pretty safe Hydra Pump off here. Hopefully he goes into Crocodile expecting a Volt Switch. But he ends up going into Sceptile. And Hydra Pump, of course, misses there. Motherfucker! Um... Yeah, my Aegislash is a very safe switch into this, as far as I know. So, I may just do that. I'm actually just going to go into my Tornadus, though. Um, because I don't need my Tornadus too much. It's actually pretty weak to this team. Um, so, I'm just going to go into that. And the Leaf Blade did a, a whopping 23 there so I'm just gonna sack off my Tornadus here I don't really need him to stick around as I was saying I don't need him too much and now I can get a safe switch into my Aegislash or Landorus but I, I don't I wouldn't want to go into my Lando I don't think or my Charizard but I'm just gonna go into my Aegislash I definitely that's definitely my best play here he's not gonna be able to hit me for anything and I should be able to get an SD up I may want a King's Shield but I think a sword stance is the better play and he's probably not even gonna hit me for physical he's probably gonna want to switch out here and yeah he ends up going for the Dragon Pulse so I'm glad I didn't King Shield there, and I got a nice Sword Stance off. I, sh I will be able to get another free Sword Stance up. So, Aegislash is looking pretty good to sweep this team, for sure. And I don't know why he's staying in. Um, Charizard is definitely his better play. But since he brought in the Zard before, he's definitely going to go down to a Shadow Sneak. So, that's where he messed up big time. He brought in his Zard already on the rocks. And he's just going to bring in his Zard in now and sack it off. Um, 
I don't know why he would have regular Charizard on his team. Um, especially with no defoggers or rapid spinners. Um, yeah, I did the same thing, but at least my Charizard is Mega X. <laughs> and he's going to end up bringing out Vaporeon now, so... I don't know. I can SD up, though. And with a plus 6, it definitely should go down to a Shadow Sneak. Or at least that's what my hope is anyway. So I'm just going to give it a shot. It should go down. Let's see. I'm actually pretty curious. Yeah, he is going to go down. With plus 6, everything on his team is going to go down from here, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, the crocodile I can deal with with the sacred sword. The metagross is obviously going to go down to a shadow sneak. And the septile, I can shadow sneak him as well. So... This is pretty much the game, guys. If you enjoyed this OU suspect laddering, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any feedback. Let me know what you guys think of Aegislash. Should he be in OU? Should he be up in Uber still? Um, like I said, I think he has a place in OU. I think it it's a very good mod. Um... But yeah, subscribe to my channel, stay up to date with all my latest Pokemon videos, uh, follow me on Twitch to be a part of all my live streams, and uh, hopefully I can get another video for you guys out today. I'm going to try and do the best I can. I believe I have another couple, I do have another couple NU matches with AV, Contrary, Malamar, so that's a really cool set that I want to show you guys, if you haven't seen it already. But... Anyways, my name is another Soviet. Peace out, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And goodbye.